Based on the video game, Dante's Inferno tells the story of Dante, a knight returning home from the Crusades only to find death. The servants, all butchered. Father. Oh, Father. Beatrice. Lord, let her be alive. In the name of God. As his beloved Beatrice died in his arms, her soul was meant to go to paradise, but her soul was taken to hell by Lucifer. Dante! You lied to me! I trusted you! You've got to save me! I'm coming for you! I won't let him hurt you! Now Dante, with the help of the poet Virgil, must go through the nine circles of hell, taking on the minions of hell and the sins of his past, in order to save his beloved Beatrice. It is Cerberus, guardian of the third circle, gluttony. <laughs> Foulest fate one could ever imagine. And it is your fate as well. For the true circle of gluttony lies inside of Cerberus's body. Inside? Good lord! Isn't there perhaps a way around it? No, not if you wish to reach fair Beatrice. So this is a dark action thriller film with six different film directors from different countries including Shugo Murase and Yasuomi Humetsu, who worked on animes like Ergo Proxy and Kite. This film has a mythical religious storyline that was based on the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri, which was adapted into a video game. Although parts of the storyline from the video game have been changed into this film, with a few characters missing, which actually makes me feel a little disappointed. But, it does give a little bit more detail onto Dante's past. Unlike the video game, which I felt was totally rushed. Also, I really like the action scenes. They were nicely done, but I thought they were just a little too short. As for the characters, I really like the character Dante. I mean, he is a great warrior, but a warrior with flaws, which people can actually relate to. Also, I thought the character Beatrice was a great representation of innocence. And I really feel bad for her, especially when you see her get tortured by Lucifer. There is nothing you can do to hurt me, child. What you perceive of me is a literal shadow of my former self. But you... <laughs> you can die a thousand deaths by my will. <laughs> I can create for such a pure, delicate, angelic soul. The animation was done by various companies, 
in which every single company did their own different version of Dante's Inferno, which can be considered nicely done to somewhat mediocre. And lo, at the rise of the hill I saw a spotted leopard, all teeth and fury. At the sight of these beasts my heart sank. I sensed danger not for myself, but for my beloved Beatrice. What madness is this? There's nothing we can do. The granaries are ablaze. We barely have enough rations for our own men. Then I'm leaving this post. I will not put up with guard duty any longer. You can't do that, Dante. We came here to kill these heretics, not toddle them. We came to reclaim the Holy Land. Saladin took the city last year and spared Christian lives. We should do the same. Since when are heretics worth a Christian life? Enough! Enough! does he do this? Bait us on! Keep us running! Perhaps Lucifer wants your soul as well as Beatrice's. He's luring us to the Ninth Circle. What is this place? The Tombs of Heresy. Here in the Sixth Circle, you will find endless heretics burning in eternal fire. This is the union of the three great rivers of hell. Another beast I must slay? No, Dante. Jerry honors our passage to the Eighth Circle. Climb inside, and be wary, it bites. The Lord of Hell dwells at the center of this frozen lake, past the storms of Ptolemaea, deep in the center pit of Judeca. There, his icy halls are well protected, and none but the mightiest may cleave a path. But can you believe me? Can you believe a traitor? The voice acting was in English only, and it features some very talented voice actors, like Uncharted 2's Graham McTavish, who I think is really fitting for the character of Dante. He really sounds awesome. Vanessa Branch as Beatrice and Stephen Blum as Lucifer were really good. And Star Wars' Mark Hamill brings his sinisterness to playing Dante's father. You think you're a greater man than me? That you're above reproach for your sins? I took up the crusade. The priest absolved us. And you actually believed him? No man can absolve you of your sins. Some men can be rewarded in hell. The music was done by Christopher Tin. The music has an amazing religious orchestral feel to it, which really brings the feeling that you are coming into a hellish world, making the feel of this film very epic. Please, don't let him take me! Beatrice! Beatrice! In the end, Dante's Inferno may abandon all hope ye who watches this film, but if ye are tired of button mashing through the video game, you may want to watch this instead of playing the video game. So that's my review of Dante's Inferno, the animated epic. I give this film a 3 out of 5. See ya.